Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to Final Trade. We're going to take our 30-day post-release look at March of the Machine Collector Box sales data taken off of TCG Player through the whole pre-release period up to 30 days post-release now. They've sold 3,051 boxes on TCG for a total price of $647,000 to make an average per box price $212 per box, just slightly below what your smallest card stores in the U.S. can buy from distribution, sell on TCG Player, pay market fees, pay real shipping, and actually make a profit. So a little low compared to that. Now, what to compare these against? I'm going to first just throw Phyrexia up there just as another data point on how popular Phyrexia was. There were no chase cards in the Phyrexia collector boxes, and yet the sales have been better both on a per box basis and on a cumulative spend basis. But what we really want to compare to to be interesting is Brothers War because Brothers War also had serialized artifacts. And what we see is that March and the Machine outsold Brothers War. And I'm not sure what to take away from this exactly, of course, as we get further away from those late months of 2022 when everyone's attitude towards WotC hit rock bottom with Magic 30 and eventually the OGL disaster. Of course, things are recovering. Money's coming back into the market. Of course, Watsi is selling more and more product all the time. But also, this is the second set of serialized cards that had significant numbers in them. Brothers War had 63 different serialized cards at 500 copies each, and March of Machines has 65 serialized cards at 500 copies each. So about 3% more serialized cards in the whole print run of March of the Machine collector boxes over the print run of Brothers War collector boxes. And really what this is going to come down to on the long timeline in terms of value is how many serialized cards will WotC print? Because if they keep up with standard sets, let's just say that they take every other standard set, they shove serialized cards in them, and of course over time WotC wants to constantly grow revenue, so they'll also grow the number of serialized cards produced every time they release them. Well, eventually, the market will be so saturated with serialized cards that whatever money collectors and investors are willing to put towards them will be chasing an ever greater number of serialized cards and the demand curve slopes downwards and tells us that the price of the cards must then fall. So long term, the uh, price of both of these products, Brothers War Collector Boxes and March of the Machine Collector Boxes, are highly dependent on just how often WotC releases serialized cards and just how many there are. For now, these are good results. I like them. You know, personally, I do not like the Universe Multiverse Legend serialized cards as much as I liked the Retro Frame Artifact and Retro Frame Artifact Sketch Card Artifacts of Brothers War. Just my opinion. But we see that they're driving the sales, the Multiverse Legends serialized cards are driving the sales of the March of the Machine collector boxes better than the Brothers War collector boxes were at the same time in their respective life cycle. So take away what you will. It will be interesting to see how this goes out on the 60-day timeline and into the future because everything depends on just how many serialized cards WotC shoves out into the environment. Let me know what you think, guys. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join me on Final Trade.